Hello. Hello. How's your January going well for everyone? Yeah. 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 Oh, some Greg fans in the room. Uh, what about dry January? How's that? No. Because no. I've all just decided Monday night, four weeks in, dark room, load of strangers. Yeah, that'll do me. Come for a piss up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's been five weeks since Christmas. Hard to believe, innit? Um. Yeah. I had a bit of a, a tough Christmas. Like a lot of people in the UK. I uh, woke up on Christmas morning, hungover as fuck. Um, I, was, I was hanging like Pat Butcher's earrings. And uh, I went downstairs to the news that my mum had got my dad an Amazon Echo Dot. And uh, if, like most people, their family had got an Echo Dot for Christmas, you'll know it was tough as shit trying to teach an old person how to use one of these. So me being hungover and my dad trying to learn how to use this thing was just awful. It's like... Uh, Alexa, make the dinner. It's like, Dad, that's not funny. And you know that's not how it works. <laughs> Alexa, boil the kettle. Again, Dad, you're not funny. Just read the instructions. My dad just lost his temper and looked up IT key skills videos on YouTube all day instead of asking the thing to play Michael Bublé's fucking Christmas album. <laughs> um, yeah, another reason I had a bit of a shit Christmas was I lost my gran last year. Uh, yeah, I took her a mattel and I couldn't find her for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glad you glad just laughed at that because she, she died a month before Christmas. So, um, yeah, that didn't go well. She, uh, she got her bathroom done in the summer, so she'll probably be raging about that. Um, but, yeah, before, uh, before she passed away, I was travelling back and forward to Belfast quite a lot um, to visit her while she was ill and then for the funeral, but travelling that much, um, spending so much time in Liverpool and Belfast Airport, you learn to hate every single person that's in the airport. You know, like once you get through security and you're waiting there, it's like, you know, ten, five minutes before the, the gates announced, and this is when you see like the first pricks start to appear looking at the the screens. And it's like usually like you know, like a middle aged man with his Apple watch, you know, he thinks he's like Kevin Bacon because he's seen the EE ads. He's like, Oh, this is great four G connectivity. But uh, yeah, five minutes, you're standing there, and then two minutes, you start to see more dickheads appear. They're all standing there with their cases because they think if they don't look at the screen, they're going to miss their flight. And I guess the one, one minute, and this, like, this is the longest minute ever. You've got Kevin Bacon there looking at his watch, like, oh, this is wrong. And then, like, after that, the gate shows, and they're all off. It's like the start of the Grand National. You get to the gate, all the pricks have paid for Speedy Borden anyway. But yeah, like, once, once you get on the plane, you know. You sit down, you think, oh, you've got a bit of space around you. Like, you're thinking, this, this could be all right, you know, stretch my legs and stuff like that. And then you hear it in the distance. It's like this wild cackle coming onto the plane. It's like a hen party. It's like, that's the last thing you want, stumbling onto the plane, you know, like, they've been drinking the shit wine in the, the airport bar. They, they come on, like, their hair all done, makeup done, high heels, usually like a T-shirt that says, Prosecco made me do it, or something like that. <laughs> you know, like, this, this new fashion of cycling shorts, you know, if you've seen that, like, they don't know whether they're going to spoons or whether they're going to a spin class whenever they arrive. Um, and they come onto the plane, and they've got, they've bought their bottle of vodka in, duty-free, and they're, they're stumbling up the plane, and you think, don't sit beside them, and sit beside them, like, hello, you! Like, oh, brilliant. You know, like, you don't want to get up to let them in, so you're not moving your knees, like, you can get in there. And the pilot's like, uh, over the tannoy, estimated flight time of 35 minutes to Liverpool today. And they're like a nudge in, the, in your side, like 35 minutes, is that a challenge? Is the way of their bottle of vodka. <laughs> a hen party is not complete without one of them being hammered, just shouting, here we fucking go, in your ear, the whole way over the flight. But yeah, like I say, um, got back from uh, my granny's funeral, and it's not, it's not an easy time, you know. I don't know if it's done a lot in England here, but um, sometimes we bring the coffin back to the house, um, this is just so people that never actually visited my granny when she was alive could come and visit her. Now this is lying in the living and dead. Um, she's using it as a coffee table. No. Yeah, <laughs> like that one. Uh, yeah, one night uh, before the funeral, uh, my family were like, we're going to give you a bit of time with her. And I was like, I don't, didn't really, well, I asked for time with my granny, but they all like left her. I'm like, we'll give you a bit of time with her. And I was like, standing there. Like, I've had 24 years of great conversation out of this woman. Now I'm just standing there like... What about those Brexit negotiations, eh? <laughs> um, folks, you've been fantastic. I've been Nathan Moore. Thank you for your time. <laughs>